Making money with your music is not an easy thing to do when you're uploading it online and trying to get paid via streams to places like Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Music, all the big places. You can have all the music in the world, but that doesn't mean people are gonna click and play on your music. And that is so sad. We want people to listen to our music and play our music, right? Well, I have an idea for you if you are uploading music and you want to get more people to listen to your streams. Listen up, listen up. It doesn't cost anything to do what I'm going to suggest. And it may be obvious to some, but to some like myself, it may not be so obvious. Now I just had this idea last week and I don't know why it took me 10 years to just come up with such a simple idea. Upload your music as instrumentals. I remember when I was a kid listening to all my favorite tunes over on repeat, putting in our, our CDs, Linkin Park, System of a Down, Corn, all that good stuff. I would listen to it so much that I would crave to hear just different aspects of the song a.k.a. instrumentals. I loved listening to instrumentals, even though these were some of my favorite singers in the world. That didn't make a difference. It was just another way for me to experience the songs that I loved. And then not only do I get to experience it in a, a different way, but it lets me hear things that I didn't necessarily hear before when the vocals are going. You totally hear different things in music when you take or add different elements of the music away. So, if you want to get more streams... Whoa! Totally didn't drop a stick. If you want to get more streams, all you got to do is take all your music, take off the vocals, re-upload them. I can almost guarantee you, you're going to be getting more views than you did before. You are opening up your audience to so many more people. I can't tell you how many playlists I've seen on Spotify where they're just instrumental playlists. I can't tell you how many times I've turned on these instrumental playlists. Even though I love the songs again with the vocals, sometimes you just want to have something a little bit more relaxing. Especially in my line of music where I'm growling a lot of vocals, a lot of people don't necessarily care for the growling vocals. <laughs> Not everyone wants to hear that all the time. Myself included. Even if you're not into doing metal vocals with scary vocals like that, even if you have the cleanest, most godly, beautiful sounding voice, it doesn't matter. People are still gonna enjoy that instrumental version. People are gonna see your instrumental version because they're only wanting to hear instrumental versions and then that opens them up to seeing your other version with your vocals. It all comes down to an ego thing. Do I want to release something that doesn't have this vocals on it? Mm, I don't want to do that because uh, the whole point of releasing the song uh, was to get my story across, get my view across, and I don't want anyone to hear any of this music that uh, doesn't represent that in its fullest. No! That is not correct! You need to kill that ego just a little bit. It's okay! You could still have your beautiful story, your beautiful message, and instrumentals. I'm a both kind of guy. Why don't you have the one with the vocals and the instrumental version? Again, they're just synergizing each other. Someone who's listening to the vocal version might want to listen to the vocalist version. Someone who's never going to ever hear your vocal version in the first place, who, who loves listening to instrumental versions of songs, they're going to find your song when you upload it as an instrumental, and then there's a chance that they're going to also be like, whoa, I just found out this is the instrumental version. There's a full version of this with vocals. I'm going to check this out. You're opening up your audience. You're getting more people in there. You're getting more streams from the people who are only wanting the instrumental versions. <laughs> I see no reason why you should not be uploading an instrumental version of every one of your songs. So what are you waiting for? Don't wait any more days, months, weeks, seconds. 
We cannot let this go on any further. We are artists and we are not getting paid as we deserve. We need to use every bit of avenue that we can to get that money coming in, right? Right. I just started working on my catalog of music the other day and I still have a bit to go, but I'm excited to get the instrumental versions up. And in fact, it's fun hearing just the instrumental versions of a lot of my songs, again, from myself. Even though I wrote the songs, I'm like hearing all this stuff that I forgot I did because it's been so long that I've did these recordings. And it almost sounds like a new song many cases. Very cool, very fun stuff. That's all I got for you. Keep an open mind about uploading your songs as instrumentals as well. You're just gonna get more streams. You're gonna find more followers. I wish you the best of luck. Let's see those streams go up, up into the sky. Let's push them farther than they've ever been with the power of more uploading. Keep uploading. Hope to see your music in the streams. Let me know what your thoughts are on this matter. If you think I'm crazy for thinking that you should have an instrumental version of all your songs, or if you think this is a good idea, let me know if you'd like to hear my experience after I've gotten done uploading all my music to see where my statistics have been going. I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. Have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>